It's great to have you here, I'm Yaroslav, and I'm thrilled to impart you my insights to you. This course delves into the foundational principles I learned through my journey as a school founder. Let's dive into the first segment where I break down the basics using simple objects. Welcome to the creativity lesson. This is an apple. A quite ordinary red apple. Or it's green. Or maybe yellow. Perhaps it's better to make it more appetizing. Or even more so. Maybe even more appetizing. Or maybe a very rare apple. Orange apple, banana apple, watermelon apple. And who's that Pokemon? In this example, we mixed watermelon, pineapple and apple. In the demonstration, I introduced you to a crucial foundational method, the art of fusion. This technique is one of the simplest yet most profound ways to captivate audiences. It's about marrying concepts that the first glance seem incompatible. Alright, let's pivot back to the visuals. Burning apple, the golden apple, diamond apple, so many interesting variations. In reality, I can do this endlessly. And I'm just getting started. But let's figure out what makes us perceive objects as they are. Let's go back to the beginning. And let's make it even simpler. A child's drawing. Not quite that, just a shape. But for this apple to make it a bigger impression, we need to follow certain rules. The basic elements of visual art are a foundational concept that form the building blocks of visual composition. While these elements can be applied to any visual subject, let's explore them in the context of apple. Lines Lines define boundaries and shapes. In the context of an apple, lines could describe the outer shape of the apple, the stem or any visible imperfection on the skin. Lines can vary in thickness, direction and style. Curved, straight, jagged. Shape. This pertains to the two-dimensional outline of an object. An apple typically has a rounded shape, but there can be variation depending on the apple variety. Form. While shape refers to 2D, form pertains to 3D. It's about depth, volume and perspective. An apple isn't just a circle, it's a sphere. So when depicting apple in art, showing its form would mean giving it a 3D dimensional look perhaps by adding shadows and highlights. Colors Apple come in variety of colors, red, green, yellows and even blends of this. Texture This refers to the perceived surface quality of an artwork, and apple skin can range from smooth to slightly rough. In visual, it can make an apple look more realistic. Space Space refers to the area around, between or within components of the piece. In the context of an apple, negative space might be the area around the apple, while positive space will be the apple itself. Value Value relates to the lightness or darkness of the color, which helps in creating an illusion of depth or emphasis. Fascinating, isn't it? We began with the basic child's drawing and evolved it into a visually compelling piece, from our starting point to the end result. By integrating various visual principles, we've crafted a piece of art that truly resonates. As previously mentioned, the magic happens when you blend diverse elements harmoniously. Eager to experiment with fusion? Let's dive into other potential combinations. We've combined visual principles a critical step. We've merged objects like apples, watermelons and pineapples. What's next in our fusion journey? How about experimenting with different environments? Intriguing, right? Let's explore. You might look at a regular apple on the tree and think it's just an ordinary piece of fruit. But what happens when you zoom out a bit? Suddenly, you notice a building in the background and your perception of the apple changes. It might now look like a part of a broader, more complex landscape. The interesting thing is, the apple itself hasn't changed. It's the same apple. However, by altering its surroundings, we've also altered how it's perceived. Take a futuristic example. Imagine this apple being grown by advanced technology. That adds an entirely new layer to how we perceive this simple apple. So let's go back to that apple. When we start to zoom out to see what's beyond our initial viewport, the scenery changes dramatically. 
You thought the apple was just hanging in the tree, but actually it's placed inside an aquarium. Zoom out even more and you find that the aquarium is located on the street, which itself is situated in a magical forest. Go even further out and you are looking at the entire universe, the Milky Way and beyond that other galaxies. And just when you think you have seen it all, you realize that this entire setting is actually within someone's eye. Ah, what was the core message of our previous exercise? The element of surprise. Hungry for more blending inspiration? Got it. Think. Style. Let's dive right into discussing the first scene of our 3D motion graphics promo. Style is a major player here and offers a whole new layer of creativity to mix in. You've got a ton of options to consider. Pixel art, hand-drawn and childish, anime, simple, realistic, Disney, steampunk, minimalistic, Minecraft, gothic, real footage, isometric, neo-noir. What's super cool is that you are not limited to just one style. You can mix and match to create something uniquely you. But let's take it up a notch. What if we stylize it like a Picasso painting? Or delve into the surreal world of Dali? Maybe even embrace the emotional swells of Van Gogh? The potential combinations are limitless, so go ahead and unleash your creativity. It's an infinite mix. I hear you. You're probably wondering, what else is there to mix? Let's think big. How about delving into the concept of multiverses? Sound expensive, right? But if we've been keeping up with popular culture, you know how trendy this concept has become. Let's think. Hmm. Doctor Strange, Spider-Man into Spider-Verse. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Which backed an Oscar. Before we blast off into the multiverse, let's map out our route, shall we? When we doubled with mixing styles, we were just scratching the surface of the digital art universe. And oh boy, the world of digital art, it's a galaxy brimming with subgenres. Let's dive deep and explore these cosmic wonders one by one. Digital art is a versatile medium that uses digital tools instead of traditional materials. Digital painting is the use of digital tools to create art that mimics traditional painting techniques, offering a wide range of styles and endless creative possibilities. Vector art is digital artwork creating using geometric shapes and lines, allowing for clean, scalable graphics. 3D art is the creation of three-dimensional objects and scenes using digital software, adding depth and realism to visual concepts. Digital collage combines various digital media and elements into a single artistic composition, offering a modern twist or traditional collage techniques. Fractal algorithmic art is a form of digital art created using mathematical algorithms to produce intricate, self-similar patterns. Data machine glitch art manipulates digital data to create intentional visual errors, celebrating imperfections in digital media. Concept art is preliminary artwork that visualizes ideas, often for video games, movies or other media guiding the creative process. Mud painting is a technique used to create large, detailed backgrounds often for film and video games to extend or enhance real-world scenes. Photo manipulation involves altering or editing photographs using various techniques to create illusions or artistic effects. Digital typography and lettering involve designing and arranging text in a digital format for visual communication and aesthetic impact. Motion graphics, this is definitely where we have a ton of fun, am I right? I mean, I probably don't even need to explain it, but just in case, motion graphics are all about using animated visuals to either get a message across or just make things look really cool. They are a staple in media production for a reason. Web art is digital artwork or interactive experiences specifically designed to exist and be viewed on the internet, often pushing the boundaries of traditional art and web design. So all these subgenres we've been talking about, they're all part of the digital art world, guys. Isn't this a blast? The wild world of digital art isn't just about exploring its subgenres, but shaking them up and blending them together. You are catching my drift, aren't you? Aren't you? 
So digital art with all its various subgenres is just one branch of a much bigger tree known as visual art. Painting, the practice of applying pigment suspended in a medium like oil or water to a surface such as canvas or wood. Sculpture, the art of shaping materials like clay, metal or stone into three-dimensional forms. Drawing, creating images using pencils, charcoal, inks, pastels and other media on surface like paper or canvas. Photography, the art and practice of creating images by capturing light on photographic film or digital sensors. Ceramics, the art of creating objects from clay and other ceramic materials, then hardening them by firing. Textile arts, this includes weaving, knitting, dyeing and embroidery creating decorative or functional pieces from fabric or thread. Film and video, creating moving images either as an artistic expression or to tell a story. Performance art, live artistic performances which can incorporate any number of mediums from acting and singing to painting or sculpting in real time. Graphic design, a form of visual communication using typography, images and graphics to convey a message or create an effect. Illustration, the creation of images to represent or explain a subject or concept often used in books, magazines and other publications. Calligraphy, the art of beautiful hand drawing often using specialized pens or brushes. Mosaics, creating images by assembling small pieces of colored glass, stone or other materials. Architecture, while often considered a separate discipline, architecture blends functional design with artistic expression to create buildings and structures. So all these different styles and types, including digital art, fall under the big umbrella of visual arts. Alright folks, grab your detective hat, because we're diving deeper. Digital art? That's under visual art, and visual art? That's my friend Snuggles, right under the cozy blanket we call art. Art is the creative expression of ideas, emotions or concepts through various mediums, enriching human experience, which includes music, dance, opera, literary arts, culinary arts, visual art, which we've talked about one step back. But hold the phone. What reigns supreme over art? It's a culture, baby. And depending on which culture corner of the world you are dancing in, Art does a different jig. So what juicy subcategories does culture have under its belt? Stay tuned and let's unrave this together. Culture is the shared beliefs, practices and values that define a community and shape human behavior. Language, religion and spirituality, science and philosophy, traditions and rituals, societal structures and politics, economic systems and art. All right, folks, let's dive deep. Language, religion, tradition, writers, philosophers. These aren't just fancy words in a history book. They can shape, mold and jazz up any piece of art you are dreaming up. But here's the kicker. They truly shine when you get a tale to tell. Whether you're chatting up your audience about your whirlwind life journey or giving them a sneak peek into global happenings, these elements are storytelling gold, they pack in inspiration and layers upon layers of juicy details. And the cherry on top, the mighty humanity. Let's get to the heart of it, shall we? Humanity is collective experience and qualities that define us as human beings, including history and evolution, biological aspects, technology and culture. So let's zoom out for a second. Humanity is at the base, right? Then above that we've got Earth, and above Earth there is solar system. Go even higher and you hit the universe, and at the top of it all, the multiverse. So congrats guys, we've just scaled from talking about styles and digital art all the way up to the mind-blowing concept of the multiverse. Just think about how many different elements you could mix together on that journey. Ever wonder what's soaring about the multiverse? Time to flag those creative muscles. Enter higher dimensions, you know. String theory and some of the wild theoretical physics ideas hint at more than our usual three dimensions. Sure, we're cruising in 3D world, but did you know there could be up to 11 dimensions or even more? Mind blown, right? And if you squint just right, you might even get a glimpse of the fourth dimension. All right, all right, let's reel it back and stay on track. 
When it comes to 3D art, there are a bunch of different subgenres to explore. I'm particularly interested in 3D character modeling. Even within character modeling, there are a ton of styles you can dive into. Take anime, for example. Anime is a style of Japanese animated film and TV known for its colorful artwork, fantastic themes and vibrant characters. There are over 20 subgenres of anime, but one of the most popular ones is definitely chibi. And get this, there are even subgenres within chibi, but the one we are really diving into is emotive chibi. So here's what we're up to. Just like we zoomed out all the way to the concept of multiverses, now we're zooming in to pinpoint a tiny, specific piece we're trying to identify the flip side of the coin. If the multiverse is the macro, we're on a quest to discover what's at the micro level. So our next pit stop is emotions. Basically, almost everything we do in life is driven by the pursuit of emotions. But hold on, there are another layer, thoughts. You think about something first and then you feel an emotion as a result. Now, when we talk about thoughts, there are different types too, like analytical thoughts or creative thoughts. When it comes to creative thoughts, that's where our imagination kicks in, and guess what? Our imagination is so powerful and can create entire multiverses all over again and again. Mind-blowing, right? Alright folks, here's the deal. We can dive deep, go down the rabbit hole and endlessly subdivide every little category, but guess where you end up every time? Yep, right back at your own thoughts. And to keep that loop spinning, just drop that imagination of yours. Look, we ventured through countless aspects, myriad possibilities and a universe of ideas, but that doesn't mean you've got to complicate things. Now, lean close for the golden rule. Make it simple. Sure, the cosmos is vast and endless, but if you really want to resonate, strike a chord, connect, keep it clean and clear. Alrighty then. So we rounded up three dynamite rules for sparkling creativity. Sure, that's a universe of advice out there, but hey, let's keep things straight and simple. Unexpected, simple mix. It's unexpected, simple mix. Creativity, it's like a magic trick, pulling together wild, unrelated, surprising elements in a neat, elegant package. The jolt of surprise, that's what hooks your audience, and the simplicity, that's your golden ticket to being understood. There you go. Remember the magic often lies into the mix, but the art is in the keeping, it's simple. Got a tale to tell, a yarn to spin? Guess what? We just strumbled into yet another vibrant corner of art. Welcome to the world of storytelling. It's an art, it's a craft, it's about spinning a narrative, weaving a tale and drawing in your audience be it through the words, visuals, dance, tunes, or even a heartfelt meme routine. Need a quickly history lesson? Storytelling, been our jam since cavemen were doodling on walls. It's how we pass down legends, history, values, and recipe for grandma's secret apple pie. Alright, let's dive into how I applied these rules in the 3D Motion Beast promo. First up, I've got the unexpected rule. We start with a pretty standard forest, right? But the characters already have some quirky, unexpected details. And then it gets crazier. Our marshmallow has eyes, and when it screams, that's when things go to a whole new level. Enter some bizarre creature that's super hungry and our hero tussles with this dragon. The cherry on top? Our character blows the dragon's head clean off and the dragon's parts morph into the final title. So we've got five major unexpected moments. The characters, marshmallow scream, dragon fight, head explosion, the final title. Awesome. Now on to rule two. Simple. We didn't go overboard with complex characters. Simple shapes, easy animations, one location. Production-wise, we stuck with one software, Cinema 4D. Keeping it simple isn't just about design, it's crucial for your production pipeline too. Why make things complicated when simple shapes and characters can convey your idea just as well? And the end of the day, it's all about your core idea and how well people get what you are trying to say. Last but not least, we've got the mix rule. When it comes to the characters, each one is a blend of different elements. Check out our Behance presentation to see our inspirations. Each character has its own distinct vibe, whether it's energetic, relaxed or something else entirely. 
We even threw a golden tooth for good measure. Even our snake character is a mishmash of frog, snake, and fish elements, plus a dash of hair. As for the videos, components, music, rock, narrative, they might seem unrelated at first glance, but when you watch a whole thing, it's a balanced mix. So let's circle back to our fruit mix. Apple, pineapple, watermelon, pick a style, set the scene. What if we added ice to the pineapple? Maybe some clothes and a cigarette? Now it's a character with its own universe inside of it and you get to decide what that is. Your homework? Create a character with a unique personality using an unexpected yet simple mix. Next lesson, we'll spin a story around this new character. Stay tuned! So, got the story burning inside you? Stick around, and in our next chapter, we'll dive into the art of telling it effectively. Catch you then!